passive eruption, a horrible term, by the way, very confusing. I try to avoid, I try to avoid this term because it's confusing the patient, it's confusing the doctor and the doctors that I teach. The ability to, to raise what you do to another level, certainly to another level. Dr. Simon was my instructor 13 years ago at USC and he's a great teacher. Uh, Dr. Simon is an excellent teacher. Without further ado, Dr. Simon, bless us with your knowledge, sir. What does it mean delayed or passive? It's like weird. The eruption, incomplete eruption. There's just too much gum tissue, too much bone. Uh, but in a nutshell, the passive eruption is when you, you have attrition on the teeth, like they break down. What is referred to as passive eruption is part of the normal eruption process. Active eruption, tooth coming out. Passive eruption, the gums shrink back. Okay. The tooth doesn't move anymore. It's, when does it stop moving? When it reaches the opposing. 